Hello, everybody who is watching us, who are watching us uh, online. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, delegates, welcome. Hope you like what you see today. I thought I would kick it off with a little bit of storytelling and uh, tell you guys why we do what we do before we start diving deeper into our products and solutions. So as many of you have seen, we made a significant announcement yesterday variety of product and solutions introductions, but also introduction of the Urban Mobile First platform. I'm not going to tell you what's inside the platform. There are more smarter people in the room who will be joining us to talk about the benefits of it and the use cases. But I want to start with how the platform will be used by a variety of ecosystem partners to improve the experience for mobile users like ourselves, for IT managers like many watching the stream, and business leaders who are dependent on a great IT experience and a great user experience to move their business forward in this new world driven by mobile and IoT. I am Ozar Dondurmajolu. I'm part of the product marketing team here at Aruba. You can find me at Oz Wi-Fi. In case you have any comments, questions, feel free to message me on Twitter. So let's get started with a day in the life of a gen mobile. What does it mean? How do we improve that experience with the use of the platform? With the use of the platform and through an integration with Microsoft into in a cloud-based endpoint mobility management system, I can perhaps bring my own device and roll that device into the corporate infrastructure and have it be secure wherever I go. Policies enforced by our platform, Intune is managing the end user experience. That's at nine o'clock though. How is my behavior changing at 11? When I'm perhaps welcoming some guests they show up at my facility, they register, just like you guys have done, jump onto the guest Wi-Fi, it's time to go for a meeting. And instead of booking a meeting room, I can use another app powered by our platform, Robin, to find a meeting room that's closest to us and available, let's say, for the next 30 minutes, directly on my smartphone. Booking a meeting room becomes a thing of the past. I can just do that dynamically on the go. Next, after that meeting, after I have some lunch, maybe I need to access some confidential data. Accessing that confidential data might mean that I connect to the network using increased privileges. So I can integrate with the integration of our platform and a cloud-hosted multi-factor authentication tool, Casada. I can get onto a higher privileged access in the network using my fingerprint or by simply selecting a picture from my library. Later in the day, I'm outside at work. I'm carrying my iPad wherever I go, but Intel security, specifically endpoint orchestrator tool that can be deployed in private or public clouds, are keeping tabs with the security of the device and the content and the data on that device. In case the security of that device and the identity of that device is compromised, I can let Aruba platform know that that device needs a different level of access, perhaps quarantining access when it comes back to work. Last, I'm going to a very exciting event. At that exciting event, I'm using the app for the venue or for the brand that I'm interacting with. Using the platform again, I can enable micro location services indoors. That blue dot experience can literally be enabled indoors. That's enabled with the platform, but instantiated Visualize from an end user point of view with a powerful app, let's say with one of our ecosystem partners, EventBase, where I can actually literally share my location indoors with my friends and I can make myself visible to them and I'm visible to them on demand. That's the experience of Gen Mobile that people are getting accustomed to right now. Some of these experiences that I've highlighted are very much visible in our personal lives and we believe that those experiences will continue to show up in our work lives. Now let's move on to talking about the IT manager. What do they care about? Simplicity, great security, make sure that things are manageable. And maybe if they can get in front of issues before they happen, that would be really cool as well. So perhaps they're going to rely on Aruba Clarity. They're managing a big mobility infrastructure, big wireless LAN deployment. And with Aruba Clarity, they can actually start testing the network before users can actually plug in. 
and Peter is going to talk to you a little bit about this, but this is predictive analysis of the network rather than reactive of the network as a matter of troubleshooting. Maybe later in the day, I have lots of devices roaming around, mobile devices, IoT devices. We cannot always trust that the operating system running on those devices, application running on those devices, are going to do the right thing. Maybe due to a user error or due to a latest software update, they're going to start connecting to things, sharing information with servers that we don't want to. So we can take action from the platform after integration Palo Alto. Palo Alto networks can detect any type of malicious activity on the network and instruct our platform to take action at the edge on the Wi-Fi and the wired networks. Later, I cannot always rely on the fact that some issues can be re resolved automatically by the infrastructure and by the platform. I sometimes would like to get notified of major security issues, but I don't want to do that by logging into different systems. I want that to be really accessible on my mobile phone through a really engaging app by PagerDuty. So our platform will summarize, synthesize different set of security incidents, different set of context we receive from the network and from other contextual sources and present relevant information to the IT folks while they're on the go. Let's take a look at the business leaders, folks who actually make sure that the stage is set up for a great mobile experience and a great IT experience. So these folks clearly want to get more out of the infrastructure nowadays. We're hearing a variety of different examples. In the past, look at the network context just 10 years ago. No mobile devices, no mobile apps. Web apps, not as sophisticated. The amount of information that we can gather from the infrastructure was very limited. Nowadays, I can actually tell you how many students in a K-12 organization have been using the latest, greatest digital education app on their mobile devices at which locations, and I can actually help you map that data to their student satisfaction scores or actually student achievement scores. I actually have that data within the infrastructure today. And that's very useful if you can map that use case to a variety of different verticals. So how is my workflow changing? How is my learning life changing? And how can I get right set of context and insights from the infrastructure, from our platform, to make that visible? Making things visible in a physical environment, when people are roaming around and connecting using invisible technologies like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, are a bit of a challenge. But it's turning out to be a very common exercise nowadays. Our customers are using our platform with another integration part, Event Board. They're actually looking at how much of their meeting rooms, how much of their specific zones in the physical spaces are being used for how long and how frequently. And based on that, given the fact that we can be mobile and connect from wherever we are, just like we're doing right now, employees can actually do the same thing by adapting the way they work on an ongoing basis. That means additional cost savings in real estate. That means improved productivity. And by the way, real estate is the second highest PL, second highest item in any PL for any business. What that means is we're actually looking for, with the implementation of a fully mobility infrastructure, we might be looking to significantly improve and optimize physical space usages in our spend. Lastly, while we are looking at these venues, maybe we gave an education example, gave an enterprise example, let's look at public venues. Maybe in these venues, there's an opportunity to engage with the end users wherever they are, depending on their location. In an airport, for example, there can be two dozen different retail brands. They might all want to engage with their customers and fans at the right time. We might consider uh, sports brands engaging with their visitors on a location basis, improving their experience within the stadium, wherever they are. So our Meridian software, as part of our platform, integrates indoor location technologies and highlights how users can get access to special content, depending on their location, as well as give business insights to marketing organizations who might be interested in how our users are interacting with 
the services that I have within this venue, am I spending my money the right way? Is there a better way to engage with people on the most important real estate of today, which is a smartphone? So all these experiences are enabled with the platform. We usually like to talk about why we invest in critical technologies, like the platform and the software component inside, rather than what. I just wanted to give you a quick sneak preview of why are we investing, continue to invest, in a software architecture that is rich enough to program infrastructure hardware in real time so that we can quickly adapt to new mobile and IoT application requirements and also quickly share context about users, location, app, devices with many different technology vendors out there so that we can continue to innovate at the speed of the ecosystem, improve the life of the gen mobile, improve the experience for IT and business.